we need to be speaking the voice of truth loudly and proudly with as many voices as possible. It's going to take us being media. It's going to take us being creative, artistic, and talented presenters of the truth and presenting the truth in many different ways so that we have a real chance to compete with the propaganda of lies and deception that comes out of the mainstream media and their propaganda engine. If you've been following my work for any amount of time, then you know that I'm pretty much someone who dedicates a significant amount of my time, my creativity, and my efforts in general to doing the great work. What is the great work? The great work is simply helping to teach principles of natural law, helping to teach how reality actually works so that we have a chance to help end the current suffering and the current enslavement that we as a species are experiencing right now and that we have been experiencing, frankly, for a very long time. Speaking the truth in order to end slavery. So to do this kind of great work obviously requires to have a voice that has a certain level of reach. And that's where being able to basically be a media creator and create media and information that can get out to a larger audience is so critical. People who have been following me for even a short time, maybe up to a year, will even see how much I have progressed in that year and how much better I've even gotten at getting these videos out in front of more people. And I'm still even a very small player in this field. There are others doing the great work, many others, not enough, but thankfully there are more and more people getting involved and they themselves are also making a big effort and they're getting their stuff in front of a bigger and bigger audience over time, which is very good. You who's watching this video, if you like me already understand that natural law exists and you've already started to gain an understanding of how reality works, how the human psyche works and how the greater reality works. And you already can see why and how the world has come to be the way it is. And you want us to evolve into a species that actually is free and you want to help transcend and transform and elevate human consciousness and the human condition, then it's going to be absolutely required that you specifically, you who's watching this, create media and share your unique message with the world, with the greatest audience possible. So these skills go hand in hand. And one of the ways that we can very clearly see why and how this is so important is looking at what the other side is doing. The dark occultists, the social engineers, the ruling class, and also the hidden hand behind the public visible ruling class that puts out an incessant stream of media propaganda that is designed to indoctrinate at every level of society and perpetuate their religious thinking which includes a watered down version of their own religion, which of course are basically the self as God, ego gratification as the highest rule, moral relativism, social Darwinism, or basically that the most ruthless get to rule over everyone else. And of course, eugenics, that the most ruthless who are ruling get to decide who lives and who dies. And we can see now clearly, especially after the last couple of years, how all this is being played out on the world stage. They get everybody to buy into their dark religion because they have been very successful at putting out their ideas through all the media channels they have, through all the mainstream media, putting out a constant stream of propaganda. The sharing of biased and false, false news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same things that are true without checking facts first. Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda to control exactly what people think. And this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 So that's what we're up against because the real battle, if we don't want to go to actual physical battle, if we want to win this through the mental plane, which is where the battle is occurring because it is a spiritual battle and it takes, it's basically a battle for people's minds. So if we want to win that battle, we need to be speaking the voice of truth loudly and proudly with as many voices as possible. So each of us, you and I, who are doing the great work, we need to be media creators. We may not have enough resources to create the equivalent of a CNN or a giant 24-7 news channel, at least not yet. And that's fine. 
we have to start with what we have. We already can do much more than we are. You can do much more as a content creator. Even I can do much more. But the point is that every day when I get out here and I create these videos, I'm pushing the envelope. I'm saying, how can I take this further? So you may have noticed I put more time and effort into editing my videos. I start to create different concepts. Now I start cross posting my videos in different platforms. I start sharing them in groups on Facebook, wherever I can get those videos out. So the quality of the videos, I'm, I'm working on that. The quality of the production, the content itself, I'm trying to speak on a, a wide range of topics that all relates back to the same and a lot of different perspectives. And then I try to push it out to as many people as possible. This does require developing certain skill sets. So I've been able to, over the years, develop skills to create a website and maintain it. I've been able to create and manage social media accounts and channels. I've been able to learn how to make video thumbnails. I've been able to learn how to edit videos. That was one of the main skills that I learned. How to speak in front of the camera, how to add an artistic touch and aesthetics to all of my work. All of these skills, and if you're just starting, it may seem a bit overwhelming, and that's understanding. It may seem a bit daunting, because you may be lacking in those skills, but that's not an excuse. You've got to start. If you go back and look at my videos from even a year ago, it's night and day. And I'm like, wow, I've really, really been leveling up. And that's important. I want this voice that I have, I want my voice to reach as many people as possible so that I can make a big impact in this all and nothing game of total slavery or total freedom for humanity. I know that I'm on the side of freedom. I know that it's not automatic. It's not a guarantee that we can win, but I know what it's gonna take for us to win. And if you care about freedom for yourself and for your children, and you have a voice, then you need to start creating media. And if you're already creating media, that's great, keep going. Don't second guess yourself. That's what's beautiful about this community is everybody's coming at it with their own unique perspectives and not every video that even everyone in this community makes resonates with me personally and I don't necessarily get the same thing out of every video. Some content I get a lot more out of, some I get less out of. One thing is common in all of them. Even when I see a video that maybe doesn't resonate with me enough, as long as it's speaking truth, as long as it's trying to help the cause, you go. Good job, keep it going, double down on that. Sometimes I do boost other people's videos. I Sometimes I send them a little bit of crypto, whatever I can to help. And we need to do that too. And that's another thing, whether you're making content, but especially for people who are not making content, but who are on the side of good and wanna see us be successful in this, make content. But in addition to that, if you've already got some resources, go and make some donations. Instead of spending all that money on Starbucks coffee and you know just whatever ridiculous stuff people spend it on, allocate five to 10% or whatever you deem appropriate from your monthly income and go and make donations to the different content creators who are doing this great work. It's gonna take us being media. It's gonna take us being creative, artistic and talented presenters of the truth and presenting the truth in many different ways, using many different voices and ultimately 24 seven so that we have a real chance to compete with the propaganda of lies and deception that comes out of the mainstream media and their propaganda engine. If I could just summarize this, wherever you are as a content creator, keep doubling down what you're doing. Obviously, if you need specific help, I can help as well. Reach out to other content creators, get involved. Mark Passio is actually doing this amazing seminar. It's already too late for this year, but it's got a huge number of enrollees in his How to Become the True Media seminar that I've been participating in and that's been very helpful as well. I've created a, a toolkit. It's basically a workbook for people who want to manage their publishing workflow more effectively across multiple channels and not have to keep it all in their head or on pieces of paper, scraps of paper. So if that's something you're interested in, you can find more information about that on my website as well under resources, resources for creators. So go check that out as well. So keep doubling down on that. The voice of truth needs to be heard by more ears. Thank you very much. <music>